Hello, this is Abby from AliHolly.com. Welcome to part 3 of the Nurse Cat Amigurumi tutorial. In the previous two parts, we created the different parts of the cat. In this part, we are going to be assembling the cat together and embroidering in the facial details. You should have all of the cat's body parts stuffed and ready to go before proceeding with this video. We will be using a bent tip darning needle. The bent tip makes sewing parts together a little bit easier. A regular darning needle works as well if you do not have a bent tip one handy. Some pins to help with positioning your pieces together. Some people don't use pins, but I think they're very useful. I'm also going to be using Paintbox Yarns Cotton Aran in Slate Gray and Blood Orange for embroidering in the facial details. And of course, we'll be using a pair of scissors. The first thing we're going to do is to pin the ears to the top of the head to position them. The top of my ears start at round 3 of the head. Once you are happy with the placement of the first ear, pin it down. After that, pin the other ear to mirror the first ear as much as possible. When both ears are pinned onto the head, you can take a look from top down to compare the positioning of the ears to the positioning of the eyes to see if any adjustments need to be made. This ear on the left is a little too far forward, so I'm going to move it back slightly. Now that you are happy with the positioning of the ears, we're going to sew them in place. We will be whip stitching the ear to the head. What this means is that we will insert the needle into the head, going into the stitch that is directly below where the yarn tail is. Pull through and tighten lightly. Remove the first pin now that the ear is anchored to the head. Then, insert your needle through the ear, making sure to have it come out of the next stitch on the ear. Pull the needle through and tighten lightly. Let's go over that one more time. So we're going directly below where our yarn tail is. Pull the needle through and tighten lightly. Then, we will insert our needle back through the ear, making sure that it's coming out of the next stitch on the ear. Pull the needle through and lightly tighten. Repeat the steps we just did until you get to the end. When you get to the end, sew over the last corner of the ears again to fully secure. Then go back the other way and sew in a couple stitches to secure the ear down a little bit more. After sewing a couple stitches through the ear, thread the needle out the back of the head and trim the yarn tail. Squish the head to hide the excess tail. 
pause here to sew the second ear in place. Now that you have your ears sewn onto the head, we can sew the body onto the head. Start by locating the center of both the body and the head. Using a pin, pin out where the center of the body is. Then, align your head over the pin as well. Make any adjustments now if necessary making sure that the center of the head and the body are lined up properly. Once you are happy with the alignment, pin the rest of the body to the head. Make sure the sides are as symmetrical as you can make it. Make any adjustments if you have to. Next, we'll be sewing the body to the head. To do so, insert your needle through the stitch in the head that is directly above the next stitch of the body. Sew through this stitch in the head that is directly above the stitch that we're working into. Pull through. Then insert your needle through the stitch on the body and pull through. Insert your needle back into the same spot that your yarn came out of in the head. Thread it out through the stitch on the head directly above the next body stitch. So now, just continue threading the yarn tail through the body stitch. Back into where the tail is coming out of in the head. Then out through the stitch on the head directly above the next body stitch. Make sure to pull on the tail to tighten the gap between the head and the body. Repeat those steps all the way around, making sure to go through each body stitch. When you get to the side, double check to make sure that the body is still symmetrical. Make adjustments to the pins on the other side if you notice any differences. Continue sewing the rest of the body to the head making sure to double check the positioning of the head here and there.
When you've gone through all of the body stitches, thread your needle through the head and the body around the neckline a couple of times to secure. Thread the tail out the back and trim off the excess yarn. Squish the cat to hide the tail. Next up, let's attach the arms to the sides. Making sure to leave a one round gap between the head and the top of the arms, map out a six stitch gap in the front of the body between the two arms. Mark the two spots with some pins to indicate where you should pin the arms. Readjust the pins if you need to, to make sure that they are properly aligned. Pin both arms to the body. Look at your cat straight on to determine whether or not you need to adjust the positioning of the arms. Sew the arms in place by doing the whip stitch, just like we did with the ears. So, we'll be inserting our needle into the stitch on the body that is directly under the spot of the arms that the yarn tail is coming out of. Pull the yarn tail through and lightly tighten. Then insert your needle through the top of the arm, making sure that the needle is exiting through the next stitch on the arm. Pull through and lightly tighten. Repeat the steps we just did until the top of the arms are fully attached to the body. Once the top of the arms are attached to the body, sew a couple stitches back across the top of the arm to fully secure. Thread the yarn out from underneath the arm. Then, cut the tail end and squish the body to hide the excess tail. Sew the second arm down in place the same way. 
For the final part of this video, we're going to embroider the details on the head in. The nurse cat has three stripes on the top of her head, three stripes on each side of the head, and a nose and a mouth. Prepare for embroidery by pinning out where you want the head stripes to be. I'm starting my stripes about three rounds above the eyes. Then in the back, I'm just eyeballing where I think the stripes should end. The sides don't have to be as precise. Just make sure to keep comparing both sides to make sure that everything is properly aligned. I'm spacing the stripes out so that they are one row apart and about three stitches wide. With blood orange yarn, I'm going to start embroidering the top stripes in. I'll be going over each stripe twice, then securing it down in the center. I have a video dedicated to embroidering amigurumi if you want to take a closer look. It will be linked in the description box down below. Insert your needle into the first pin and out the back pin spot. Remove the pin. Pull the yarn through until you have a tail that is slightly longer than the stripe that you are making. Thread the tail end through a darning needle. Then insert the needle through the back pin spot and out the back of the head. Pull through. We will cut the excess tail later on. Continuing with the other end of the yarn, double up on the stripe by inserting your needle through the front pin spot. Instead of going out through the back this time, pull the needle out of the halfway spot. Making sure that your stripe is on one side of the yarn tail, pull the yarn through and lightly tighten. Insert your needle back into the same spot, but make sure that your yarn tail is going over on top of the stripe to staple it down. Pull the needle out of the front pin spot of the center stripe. Pull the yarn through and lightly tighten. Embroider in the rest of the stripes. Because the side stripes are a little bit shorter, you do not need to secure them down the middle like you did with the top stripes. When you're done with the final stripe, thread the yarn tail out the back of the head. Pull the yarn through, making sure to not tighten too tightly. Cut the yarn tails off and lightly squish the head to hide any excess. Finally, let's pin out the shape of our nose and mouth. My nose is about two stitches wide and my mouth is about two rounds long.
With slate gray yarn, embroider in the nose by stitching in the space between the two pins. Make sure to double up on the line. Thread the needle out the center, right below the nose. Pull through lightly, making sure to not tighten it too much. Insert your needle into the final pin and out below the nose. Pull through. Oops. Go over the line one more time and thread the needle out the back of the head. Pull through lightly. Insert your needle underneath the nose and mouth embroidery and wiggle lightly along the lines to loosen them up a bit. Cut the yarn tails off and lightly squish the head to hide any excess. This is the end of part 3 of the Nurse Cat Amigurumi tutorial. In the next part, we will be finishing up the Nurse Cat pattern. Thank you for following along with this video and I hope to see you in the next one.